What's going on, world? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the podcast, Uplifting Minds. I'm your host, Lamar Wilson. I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody's feeling great. I hope everybody's being safe. You know my slogan, stay home, stay alive. So, um, you know, we're about like week three uh, into this whole coronavirus. And, um, you know, I heard that uh, China is back. Um, back to work, and I think the UK as well, and you know, but they had like an ultimate shutdown, so that you know, it kind of makes sense. So, you know, shout out to China that you know, for you know, getting back to work and doing because that that country is definitely you know, it's, um, it's a large amount of people in that country, so um, you know. It lets me know that there are some, there is light at the end of this tunnel that we're in. So, um, you know, just stay strong, you know, um, you know, just keep, keep moving forward and, you know, and the people that are affected by this, you know, keep them in your prayers. Okay. Um, so other than that, um, you know, shout out to everybody on the front line just doing their thing, you know, that that's out there, that's working them long hours and, you know, and, and just in and out, you know, in and out, just trying to make things happen. Um, I know with myself, um, my jobs are essential, so I'm out um, beside my day job where I'm, I'm home, but my night job, I'm out. So, but um, my, 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 uh, my, uh, I want to say, <laughs> uh, my super powers, um, don't, it's nothing compared to the doctors, the nurses, the, 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 the garbage people, the kitchen people, the, you know, everybody that's on front line. Mine's is just more retail. So, uh, uh, you know, but, you know, people, People need their package. So, um, but shout out to everybody there. Um, you know, and hopefully um, we could get this thing um, in control and we'd be able to, you know, not, I'm not saying that things need to go back to normal right now. And, 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 but what I'm saying is that we slowly, gradually start uh, bringing back things and business start opening up and we get be able to be around each other and feel feel safe and, and not worry about uh, catching anything. So, other than that, uh, you know, uh, I was talking to a couple um, of uh, people that I, you know, uh, agreed to work with um, before all this happened. And uh, the one thing that, you know, that was funny how we, you know, because of this, this, uh, virus, you know, a lot of things got postponed. Um, but a lot, uh, you know, the conversation that we had was that we need to make sure when we do come out of this, that we're better, that our time is better, that our approach is better, that our spirits are better. And um, and I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. And I think one thing about me, I find that I am picking up the pace a little more. I'm putting my hand in the cookie jar a lot more, and I'm preparing myself to be uh, ten times better. Um, so I want to, you know, just jump on this podcast today just to talk about being consistent right now being consistent in the areas that you wish before this happened that you were able to be consistent in and that you could stay on top of it and not get stopped or get distracted or get derailed from things because you know you're working you're coming home you got kids or you you got this to do you got that to do whatever it is so this is the time where you got time you know and that you can make things happen um, so with me, I felt like, you know, talking to a couple of my partners, 
I felt like, yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. Um, and I made a vow to myself that, you know, I'm going to finish my children's book and start the second children's book. I made a vow that I'm going to be on this podcast. And I know I've been saying that, but right now I'm very proud of myself is that I've been um, consistent for the last two weeks uh, with the podcast. So I've been jumping on that. Um, my videos, um, making sure that I speak on these uh, video engagements. So, you know, I've been really thinking about and we've been really trying to put it together. We're going to see how it comes out. But what we want to do is a private event, uh, exclusive only event for um, people for personal development. So that's in the works. So look out for that. But what I wanted to jump on this podcast in, uh, today, actually, I'm recording this at 514 a.m., you know, um, I just got up and the spirit God just told me to get on the podcast. I said enough listening to other people podcasts. I need you to create your own podcast. Um and like I always say, I don't have no fancy podcast, I don't have no studio, I got my phone and my app and I get busy. That's what I do. Alright? So um but to me I find it where um being consistent right now is probably the best time to have that um, muscle memory, to have that, that uh, this is just a norm to what I'm doing now because I've been so consistent at it. So if it's something about losing weight, you know over the years you started losing weight and then you stopped. You started writing a book and then you stopped. Uh, thinking about opening a business or, you know, trying to be a better person um, health-wise and uh, mental-wise mental or be a better person in your, in your relationship with your family or your spouse or your kids. And somewhere down the line, you stop. Whatever it is, you stop. And I'm not an angel. I'm not perfect. I go through a million things. I I have this thing where we... Uh, People think because I'm a speaker, I don't, you know, I'm excluded from the thing called life. No. I still get the mail. I still get bills. I still get mail that I have to answer to. I still get calls with people that truthfully be, be told I really don't want to have conversations with. I still get, I still have relationships with people that I don't, you know, they don't see my point of view, they see their point of view, they, you know, and we have to be cordial about it. I'm going to be honest. I I don't always have the greatest relationships with, with people. And some of my relationships that I have with people, I'm just being cordial about it. You know, I, 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 you know if I could, I really wouldn't work with them. Now, let's, let's just be honest. I wouldn't work with them, you know, because I see how the relationship has formed. That it's not just a business and it's not just something where, you know, I help you, you help me. It's what can what can I do for that person? And I'm getting to a point where now this is the time where I can make a factor in my life where you know what? I can cut this person off. I don't need to be with that person. I don't not you know, I don't need to deal with that person. You know, my conversations with that person can move away from each other. So, that's where I'm at and being consistent. I want you to start thinking about some stuff that you keep keep putting off. You keep putting to the side. And let's bring that back and let's make that the uh, the, the forefront of what you want to do in, right now while you're home or you got time. You know, you might be at work, but you still have time. You have more, you have a little more time than you would normally have. And it, can we spend a little time on Even if it's 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe it's an hour. If you just invest that, invest that, that little bit of time, trust me, it would expand so much in your life that you wouldn't, you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't think possible that it could happen. But we have to apply some type of, some type of time into what we want done in our life. I, I, I strongly think that 
if you can if you can just move out some things. What I what I used to do was I would I would you know I send my motivational quotes in the morning. Then I jump on Facebook and I send some in the inbox. Then I jump on Instagram and then I send some more in the inbox. And I'm like, look how much time it's taking. If I'm telling people to um, text me, send me your number, your name, and what state you from, where well, you can just send it there. I won't have to jump on Facebook uh, message. I won't have to jump on Instagram message. I won't have to do none of that. All my stuff would just be on that one platform. So I made the decision to remove that that option. Now you can either join it or you don't, but you won't get this message no more. And that, that's what it is. It's because I, you know what? I could be consistent. But being consistent, if it's if I have to do more, if I have to spend more time in that area, where in which there's another option for me to go and and utilize, and I'm telling you, this is what you need to do, you know, in order for us to, um, you know, connect. Great. But if you choose to say no, I'm not doing it this way, then you know, what I'm saying I can't help you in that area. Because I, you're making me come out, I, you're making me come out my my zone for this when I could be focused on other stuff. Um, with that time, it takes a lot of time for me to send a quote to a, you know a hundred people, you know, and then go on social media and do the same thing. I. Like, I can't allow myself to use up that much time in the morning just for that. So, I want you to focus on being consistent in your life. What areas in your life you need to really take care of? What's some things in your life that right now that you can start up? You may not be able to finish, but can you start up and get keep it going? All right? So, that's what we're going to focus on this week. The key is to be consistent. Wake up every morning from now to, to next week. Be consistent. I want to be consistent. I will be consistent. I have to be consistent. All right? It's your boy Lamar Wilson telling you, uplift your mind before you uplift your phone. I'm going to see you next week. Peace.